Okay, uh, part seven of the Malogian Restoration. So this has all gone pretty well so far. Uh, I've done the keyboard, so that's been prepared. I've prepared the bellows and taped the bellows and the corners and the bellows gasket. Fixed the, the finish, it's all looking nice and tidy. So now I'm gonna have a little look at the base end. Now these base buttons, I've cleaned them, but there's one bit of wood just stuck in that one there. So I'm gonna take the base buttons mechanism out. Uh, and I'm also gonna put some new leather and felt under the base pallets. So I'm gonna show you how that all works. Basically gonna start working on the base end and get this all sorted. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, take off Just angle it down a little bit. There we are. Take off the the base end. So I've undone the take off the terrible side. Get that out of the way. So we're left with the base end. Now I've I've undone the four screws on the bottom of the base side. So that panel just comes off. So I'm just take that off. Put it to one side. In here, we've got the base mechanism. So we've got the little levers. Uh, the buttons on the end and the little levers are fixed in onto the mechanism with a tiny little nail that's bent over to hold the whole thing in place. So what I'm actually going to do to get the levers out, these levers, is I'm going to get my fine little pliers and I'm going to straighten up the little nail just in here that holds the lever in place and then the levers will be pulled through these holes. Before I pull the levers out, I'm going to mark them with the pen so I know which one goes where because they all look a little bit different, different shapes. So I'm going to put some marks on there. And I got this little tip from Lester Bailey, who's a very, very fine melodian restorer who's done lots of videos and I've just been inspired by him. So I'm just a complete numpty. Well, not numpty, but it's the first time I've done this. So I've just got this from him. So if you want to find out, uh, from someone who's done a lot of Melodian restoration, Lester Bailey on YouTube has done loads and he's really, really good. So hopefully I can do half a good a job. <coughs> or a, a reasonable job, put it that way. So I'm going to mark these so I know which one comes out from where. So I'm going to put one line on that one, two, three, So just marked all the levers. It's going to go back in the right place. So the next thing we're going to do is take off the little nails which are holding the levers onto the mechanism. So let's have a go at doing that.
Okay, all done. That was the trickiest bit so far, really. So I've got all of the the buttons with their levers off and had to straighten up the little tiny nails which were holding them onto the base mechanism. So when you have a look inside, you'll see those nails. You've got to just straighten them out, pull the nails out, and then the levers and the buttons will then come through the holes. So that's the first step. So what I'm going to do with these levers is clean them up, clean up the arms, just get rid of the rust. I'm going to put some little felts, because some of the felts are coming off the end of the buttons, put them on. And I'm going to try to put the new button onto this one here, because that's got a bit of wood stuck on it rather than the button. So I'm going to have to try and get that off, hopefully. See how they've stuck that on. Get that off and put a new button on that one. And try and keep them in order because they all go in order when they go back in. So make sure they go back in order. And that's the next thing. So I'm going to try and fix that button. Close it off there. Okay, now the next step I've taken off the base rods. That's all to put to one side. The next thing I'm going to do is take off the base pallets and they, these are the pallets, the wooden blocks which are attached to the levers and these little wooden blocks have got uh, felt and leather or leather on the inside to give the seal. So I'm going to take those blocks off. I've numbered them so that I know which block goes back which one. They should be quite equal but just in case there's slight differences in those shapes and things I've just numbered them so when I put them back on again I'll put them back in the right order. Right, so I'm going to take them off. I think it's quite straightforward. Let's have a little look. So there's a little bit of, of tape on the outside. Let's see if I can get these off. I might just pause the video and come back in a sec. Okay, so that's, that's a straightforward. So all these blocks have come off. We just need a little twist on the arm and the glue. It's a little bit of a of glue, glue gluing them on, just a little twist. And all of these pallets, of course, they've got like a triangular one. And you've got a square one. So one slightly bigger than the other. The triangular one covers three holes, which give you a cord on the base side. And the square one just covers one hole, which gives you the main base note. So base note and the cord, hence the different sizes. Now the next thing, as you can see on the best side, you know the holes. See the big hole, that's for the base note, and the three holes would give you the base chord. Base note, base chord, base note, base chord, base note, base chord. So that, that's all good. So what I'm going to do next is take off the, the leather on the face of these pallets. So I just want to get a little Tommy knife here. I'm going to have a little look and just see if it actually peels off. Actually, just maybe peel that off. Um, and I might just do a little bit of scraping. But actually, that's that's simply peeled off the pallet. So I'm just going to get all the leather off the pallets. I'll do that next. Right, so cleaned off pallets, make sure that I can clean off the little grooves on the outside, sanded down the inside so they're nice and clean. I've got my pallet, pallet facing material here, which is uh, lovely soft leather with a little bit of felt on the inside. It's quite expensive, about £10 for this. So I'm going to carefully, I've done the first one actually, I'm going to carefully glue the pallets onto this. I'm using PVA glue. I'm going to try and get them as neat as I can onto the onto here to avoid wasting too much because it's quite expensive so I'm just going to put a little coating of, of, of PVA onto the, the wooden pallet make sure you get right to the corners and then I'm going to arrange that carefully onto my felt I'll do that for all of them and I'll show you in a sec So I've got my 
palettes onto the palette facing material, PVA glue. Then I'm going to get a little bit of a nice flat wooden block. I'm going to put that on top of there. And then I'm going to put some weight on top of the wooden block and leave it for a little while. So here we are, I'm going to get my, my favoured heavy books. There. Yeah. There are. So that's creating a nice bit of weight flat onto the palettes, onto the palette face material. So I'll leave that for a few hours, a good few hours, just to get that really nice and glued. And once those have been glued on, I can then refix the palettes onto the, well, put the arms back through, and then refix the palettes back onto the arms um, and get that all sorted. Okay. Okay, next bit. Uh, so I've put the weight onto the block of wood, which has been on top of the pallets. So what I'm going to do next is carefully with the sharp, sharpest craft knife that I've got. I'm going to then cut around the pallets as carefully as I can. See? Ah! All in the little place. There we are. All nicely glued. So I'll just keep cutting those out until we've got all of them done. Okay, there we are. All eight pallets nicely faced. So that's that bit all done. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the base end and I'm going to fix the palette onto the base arm that it came off of. Kind of, I'm going to put them back into the slots uh, so the little arm will sit back in the slot and then when I've got them all lined up properly I will then put some hot glue gun hot glue onto the connection between the rod or the lever and the pallet and there's a little dub of hot glue just to hold it in place I've got to be a bit quick here yeah. because um, I'm onto the the gluing of the pallets back onto the arms of the base mechanism um, and I've got my hot glue gland just warming up 
uh, and I've been trying to do these videos on the kitchen table to, to show you that how you can kind of uh, do a, a complete free throw of a melodeon without any kind of special workshop but just kind of some fairly basic tools and a kitchen table but my, my wife's been complaining a bit about the glue on the kitchen table and it's getting a bit a little bit gluey and the glue gun's obviously gonna be quite gluey and I've actually moved from the kitchen table to the worktop of the kitchen and uh, she's just gone to the dentist so I've got about an hour so I think I'll try and crack this through um, before my wife comes back from the dentist so in case I make a bit of a bloody mess right so what I'm gonna do is put the pallets back onto the mechanism I've done all of them apart from one put them back onto the levers onto the slots as you can see there and once I've got them all lined up perfectly with the levers and the holes that they're covering which I've kind of done for all of them apart from this one so I'll just get this one done then I will start to glue Make sure push all the levers down in place. I think that should be good. So I'm going to carefully get my glue gun. I have a little bit of paper towel to clean up any mess because this is going to be a little bit messy. But here we go. Okay, Whew. No, this, it always tends to be a little bit of a mess, so I'm just going to clear up any stray strands. Looking good, turn off the glue gun. Oh, I've got one thing. I also did the air button palette, you can see. Really nice. So I should put that one on as well. Make sure that get that one around the right way. Better turn the glue back on. Turn that glue gun back on. Yep. Let's do that one as well. So that glue, because it's hot glue, it dries within about five minutes. It kind of not just doesn't dry, it kind of, it goes back into a harder glue, um, which is quite nice. So it's quite quick. But the reason it's good is that it's easy to take off as well. So it's, it, it, it's, it's good enough to hold it in place, but if you want to take the pallets off, then you can just break that kind of rubbery, kind of gluey seal, and the pallets will come off quite easily. Um, so you can do some refurbing at a later point. So if you use super glue, uh, that would be really, really hard to get off and would have perhaps broken the wood and, and damaged stuff. So actually hot glue gun is a really good way of um, I'll fix them on. Okay. Just a little show and tell. There we are, all nicely glued on, all ready to go. 
Okay, now the next thing is I'm going to get the base arms back in and I've refurbished them a little bit. I've put some nice new felt like washers underneath the, the button. Uh, they're all numbered so I know which one goes where. So it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is number seven. So number seven I know is going to go in here. So then I'm going to put number seven through the wig a little bit. Just to get it in. And then it will just sit on its little arm. So you just lean it over, push it on. So sitting on its little arm. And then you need to have um, a little nail to fix through the whole of the arm and the whole of the little lever, tiny little hole, and you need a little tiny nail, but what I found is a paper clip is just the right thickness, and the paper clip's a bit of steel, and so I think that's going to be perfectly strong enough for holding it as a little nail, if you like, so you probably could buy the nails themselves. But I'm going to use a little paper clip, bend it over, and I'm sure that's going to be strong enough. So all you have to do then is feed the little, ooh, there we go, the little nail pin through the holes just to secure the arm back on. Now this is a little bit of a fiddle. Once you've got the pin through, then you can just bend it over and it's all nice and secure. So, what I might do is do, there we go, do them all, and then I'll show you the end when I've got them all attached. All in, all the buttons in. They're all pretty good actually. They're pretty, I'm going to just do a few little tweaks to the angle just to get them really, really straight. But actually, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. And then I'm quite pleased with the action. It's got a lovely little action on the, on the buttons. So they're having the new facing leather uh, and also having the new little felts underneath the buttons. It's giving a nice little action. So that's all good. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm going to put it back together and just have a little look at how it how it looks and how it plays with these new newly done buttons. So I'll do that in a second. Okay, here we go. All done. All put back together. I'm really pleased with the action and the look of everything. So all the buttons are sitting nice. It's got their nice soft action. Not not too much travel, but they just feel really really kind of solid and and kind of definite. Um, they look good, it's all looking tidy, so the whole melodion is, is really starting to take shape. Uh, I've even just put the bass strap back on the bottom as well, just to make that look and work better. So I'm really chuffed, I haven't done this before, so it's kind of the first time I've had a good reforming a melodion, and particularly that bass end which is pretty complicated, but I'm actually quite chuffed at how it's worked out, so it's, kind of, it's made a big difference. Um, so if I just turn it around and have a little play, now I don't play the melodion, so uh, I can't play any tunes just yet, but um... so all the buttons are working really nicely. The compression is good. Um, it's all good. Now the next, the, it doesn't sound too good in terms of the notes because the reeds are just haven't been worked on yet. But I've worked on reeds before, so I know how to do that bit and I can actually service the reeds and, and get them up working properly and in fact what I'm going to do is change the key of this from C to C sharp to a D G which which means I'm going to take all the reeds out anyway and replace them with new reeds for the D G scale rather than the C C sharp scale because that's the kind of melodion I want to play so that will be coming later but not just yet but I'm really pleased so far the next step is 
I'm going to do the same thing I've just done on the base on the treble. So if I take this off, see so all the pallets on the treble side, uh, I'm going to do take the pallets off, uh, fit some new facing material on the pallets and, and then fix the pallets back on and then just check the action of the keyboard as well. Uh, and then pretty much most of it's been done then, most of the accord and load has been done apart from sorting out the reeds and the tuning which is another job but um, the kind of mechanical stuff is finished. So that'll be the next one but uh, all going well and uh, I reckon within another couple of weeks we'll be done. There she is. Boom. Thanks for watching.